Hi. Oh, hey, how are you? I'm good. I didn't realize this home got sold already. Yeah, just last week. Oh, great. I'm Candace, by the way. Oh, that must be your Porsche. Oh, yeah. I work on cars for a living, so I can appreciate a nice ride when I see one. Oh, I thought you were a mover, but you're a mechanic. Well, I guess laborers take on a lot of jobs, huh? Well, anyway, are they inside? Who? The new homeowners, silly. <laughs> I want to meet them. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm Hector. Nice to meet you. Um, maybe you're not understanding. How do I say this in Spanish? Um, el come honors es aquí. Look, I speak English perfectly fine. Thanks. But I am the homeowner. I just closed escrow. Stop <laughs> it. Come on. This is a really expensive neighborhood. A laborer like you couldn't afford a place like this. Please. I'm not. Hello. Hi, I'm Candace. <laughs> you must be the new homeowner. Uh, no. No, I'm not. Actually, Hector is. Hey, boss, I got to get going. Do you need anything else? Nope, all good. As a matter of fact, here's a little some extra for your hard work. Oh, Great job today. Thank you so much. No Take problem. care, buddy. Thanks. Uh, I'm confused. <laughs> so you really live here? But how? Well, I guess you can say things aren't always what they seem. Right. Well, <clears throat> don't act like you own the place. I'm sure you're just renting. Whatever you say. Hey, look, I gotta finish unpacking. It was really nice to meet you, Candace. Mm-hmm. Hey. Heard we have a new neighbor? Yeah. And we both need to be really careful. There's just something suspicious about him. Oh, huh, really? Mm -hmm. Seemed like everyone I met seemed really nice. Everyone? Who's everyone? Oh, I don't know. I, I think they're having some sort of like get together or something. I saw a handful of people outside. What? See that? Right there. I'm gonna go over there and find out what's going on. I'm not gonna have a bunch of cholos ruining my neighborhood. Oh wait, uh, mom. Look, you think that maybe I could take the Porsche tonight? I have a date and I really want to impress her. Absolutely not. Can't even believe you would ask me that. Hector! What's going on over there? Hey. Something wrong? Yeah. Did you invite your whole gang over here? Gang? These are my cousins. Hey, primos, say what's up to my new neighbor. Hi. What's up? We're just having a little housewarming celebration, that's it. You know, I knew you moving in here would be trouble. We all work very hard to keep this a nice neighborhood. And now you're going to ruin it. By hanging out with my family? I don't understand. Those guys over there, they look like troublemakers to me. <laughs> Not at all. These guys do very well for themselves. See the one on the left, he's in the restaurant business. And the one in the middle, he's into agriculture. And the one on the right right here, he sells alcohol. Oh, so selling tacos and being a farmer and working at a liquor store is doing well for you. <laughs> no. Listen, just keep the music down or I'm calling your landlord. No, even worse, the cops. Comprendel? Sure. Good. Hey, just so you know, I'm keeping my eyes on you. I'm not even doing anything. I should come. Hey, lady, nice Porsche. Yeah, I know. You just stay away from it. <laughs> <laughs> Hear them. Yes, hello. Yes, my neighbor's having a big party. And I need you to send the police right away. Thank you.
All right, guys, it's getting late. We all better go. Congrats again, Hector, on the new house. Salute. Salute. Oh, what? Who were calling cops, man? Oh, man, I know who. Hey, officer, can I help you? Thank goodness you came. These guys have been blasting music and having a whole wild party all night. I can't even sleep. What are you talking about? There's no party going on over here. Don't believe a word he says. Are you the owner here, sir? Yes, I am. <sighs> I, I just moved in. <sighs> no, more like a renter. And when the landlord hears about this, he's not going to be happy. OK, wait, wait. Which one is it? Officer, can I have a second, please? Yeah, sure. You're just going to let him leave. Well, he hasn't done anything wrong, and there doesn't seem to be any party going on here. I am telling you that there is something fishy going on here. You know, they were looking at my car earlier and... Oh, my. My car, my car, my car is gone. What do you mean? Those guys, they stole my car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. we didn't steal anything. Liar! I saw you, I saw you checking out my car and I knew it, I knew there was something going on with you. Wait, ma'am, do you have any kind of evidence to prove this? Like, maybe a video or anything? No! I am telling you, I know that they stole my car. But we've never stolen anything in our lives. Look, this is getting ridiculous. I try to be cool, but I'm sick of being stereotyped by you, and I'm not gonna tolerate this anymore. You see, you said that I couldn't afford a house in this neighborhood, but actually, I bought this house cash. Now it all makes sense. <laughs> because only drug dealers and criminals buy homes in cash. Actually, when I told you that I worked on cars earlier, you assumed I was a mechanic. But I own the largest car dealership in town. You probably even bought your Porsche off of me. You do? Okay, then, well. <laughs> it must have been your cousins. Oh. <laughs> My cousins don't have to steal anything. They're more successful than I am. Oh. <laughs> When I said that my cousin Juan here was in the restaurant business, you assumed that he was making tacos. But actually, he owns the largest chain of steakhouses in the state. I have the best steaks. And my cousin Francisco right here, he's not a farmer. He owns the largest agave plant in Mexico. And his number one client is my cousin Jesus, who doesn't work at a liquor store. He manufactures his own tequila. So you see, officers, we're not troublemakers. We're very successful entrepreneurs. That's all very impressive. What? You, you don't believe this? Okay, well, how does that even explain how my car is missing? Wait, isn't that your car right there? Mikey! Mom, you stole my car? What happened to my windshield? Mom, Mom, I, I thought you were sleeping. Okay, okay, look, look, I can explain. Okay, I, I, I was driving on the freeway and I- Get inside the house! You are in big trouble, young man. Get inside the house! Get in it! Well, I guess that solves that mystery. Guys, we're gonna get out of your hair now. Thanks. Listen, sorry for the inconvenience, guys. Have a good night. Thank Have a good you. night. Good night. Good night. I, uh, I don't know what to say. I am so sorry for assuming that you stole my car. That's fine, honestly. We're used to it. We get stereotyped all the time. It sucks, but Sally, that's the world we live in. Hopefully. It teaches you a valuable lesson. It does. I... I realize now that things aren't always the way they seem. Can you please forgive me? Sure. And hey, look, keep the card. We got a great body shop, and we'll take care of that windshield for you, okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a good night.